Good afternoon all, I hope you are well. I'm uh, still a bit under the weather. I'm not smoking. Day, what is it? What's the day? Wednesday, so I don't know, day three, something like that. Anyway, a couple of packages just come in. Um, this one is from Tim, Hermit Piper. Something tells me that in a previous life he must have been into some kind of uh, packaging or something like that. His packages always come just fantastically um, packed up. And this one is a package from Ian Reed. And I'm excited about both. So let me just get my knife. So you've seen this one before. I, I forget his name. I had this custom made for me a few years ago. It's Chris something, uh, but I just don't remember. Incidentally, if any of you guys know where I can get these things made, custom made, these little bolts, I want to try and get something similar made as an, uh, an emblem for my stems. I've got an idea which I want to design, um, but I want to get something made. Anyway, first off, you guys know that I'm, I'm big into reading anything to do with um, to do with pipes and tobacco, cigars, whatever it might be. And, uh, Ian, Ian Reed, he mentioned that he had a bunch of back issues of Pipe Club of London magazines, which he was happy to pass on. So I said, yes, yeah, absolutely. I've got about maybe 10 or 15 of them myself, which I've had since I became a member. Um, and uh, anyway, he said he's got some back issues. And he said he would send them. So I'm very grateful for that. So the most recent ones I have, but this is what, 1994, 95, 97. Fantastic. This is, no, I haven't read any of these. 2004. Fantastic. What's this one? The Worldwide Pipe Smokers Magazine, Volume 1. The Pipe and Music, J.S. Bark, James Galway. Cool. Interesting looking magazine. I'll enjoy reading them. I'll enjoy reading them all. Ian, thank you very, very much. And uh, I'll be sending some back in your way in the fullness of time. Thank you very, very much indeed. Much appreciated. Can't go wrong with reading material. If any of you guys got reading material to do with pipe smoking or pipes generally that you don't want anymore, send it my way. I don't invite <laughs> tobacco packages, but if you send me something to read, or cigars these days. I will gratefully accept. And reciprocate. Like I said, Tim's parcels always very well packed. So these, I know, are some cigars because uh, Tim and I spoke about it. We're doing a little trade. Awesome. So Tim wanted some uh, Christmas cheer. I know he's had Christmas cheer before because um, I know he sent me a sample of 2013 a while back. Um, I've got various years, um, but this year that I'm giving him is a very, very good year. I've got a few tins of these because I enjoyed it so much. I, I chased down a few of them. So this is 2016. I found it to be better than 2017. 2017 was the year that they brought out the 40th anniversary. So it's good, but it's not the same as 40th, 2017. And in my opinion, this is a richer smoke. I think it's richer than 2013 as well, which is the sample that he sent me. Um, and um, hopefully Tim, you will enjoy this. So that, plus uh, some other goodies that I can put my hands on, will be winging their way to you ASAP. So what have we got? Very nice. A Chapman Connoisseur B. I know Tim likes the Connoisseur line. Uh, fantastic. 
middle of the HLB brand. And the rest, look at that. Cohiba Robustos, four of them, 10. That is super generous. Four Cohiba Robustos. I don't really buy Cohibas, I just, they're too expensive for me. I leave it for the rich people like Tim to do that. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. And he sent me a nice 72 Bavida pack. <coughs> <coughs> the problem with the coughing is the pain. After two or three days or a week of coughing, stomach muscles, it absolutely kills. And it just, that's the problem at the moment for me, is the pain. The stomach and the chest, the muscles are really very, very painful at the moment. I think the cough itself feels like it's clearing up a bit, but the nose is still runny. The sore throat, I think, is gone, but it's just a little bit of coughing, but it's the pain that goes along with it and the nose, but hopefully we're getting there. Um, so there we go. Um, once again, I, I wasn't in the workshop yesterday. I don't know if I will be today. I did get some uh, estate pipes in yesterday, some stand ones, which I've been waiting on. Still got a few more, which I'm, I'm waiting on. Um, so I'll be polishing those up and sort of doing some refurbing where needed. And um, and those will be um, becoming available. A lot of people have asked me to do um, the raffles on estate pipes um, rather than just my own pipes. Um, so I may well do that. So we'll see how things go. But for now, I'm going to wish you all well. I will catch you on the next one. Ian, Tim, thank you very, very much.